Welcome to this tutorial. In here, I'm going to show you the basic setup that I'd like my students to use for my class when they're using 3ds Max. So here I've gone in and I've launched the software. The first thing I'm going to do is uncheck the show this welcome screen. While it is very useful, I don't need it to open every time. If you want access to it, you can always go up to the help and the welcome screen is right there. Okay, so the first thing that we do when we're setting up our 3ds Max, we go into Customize, Unit Setup, and then in here we click on the System Unit Setup button, which opens up that dialog, and we want to set one unit to equal one centimeter. That's uh, most game engines work in centimeters, and since we are game artists, we like to have our machines set up the same way so that our measurements work, so that we when we build a uh, modular wall uh, building systems, everything will snap together correctly. So I'm just going to say OK for system unit setup. And I'm just going to leave this on generic units. All right, so let's just click OK. The next thing is the rendering. I'm going to go up here, rendering, render setup. And Max defaults to Arnold, which is a, a more physically based renderer. I like to just set this to the scanline renderer. Uh, scanline renderer works great. It's a lot simpler and easier to use. And we don't want to make, try to make our assets look final inside of 3ds Max. We would do that inside a game engine or inside a program like Substance Painter. And so for us, we're just going to set it to scanline renderer, especially if you have a slightly older machine, it's going to run just a little better. It's okay, scanline renderer. Next, I'm going to come over here to come up here to the grid, and there's this little three with a magnet. If I right click on that, you'll see there's home grid, and I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to set grid spacing to one. Oops, make sure my numlock is turned on, and I'm going to type uh, 100 for grid spacing, and then close that, which means that every one of these grid spaces is one meter now. And the last thing I like to do is I come in here and I set up my modifier list, right? And so for starters, you, you come over here to modify and you click on this little button and I wanna show the buttons. Also, uh, if you hover over the edge, right? By default, the this is the command panel. By default, it only has one panel. I like to hover over the edge and drag it over so I get two of these little panels because some of the programs as you're working in here this will start to get filled up with a lot of information as you go and so i like to get that filled up and so now the modifier sets uh, if i go in here and click configure what that's going to do is it's going to allow us to go through and set our most commonly used modifiers inside here and so what we do with the button selected, I'm just gonna click anywhere inside here. I'm gonna type uh, UN for UN, and uh, I wanna put unwrap UVW, and I do that by just, I can click and drag it up there. I'm gonna select the next one. I'll come back over here and type U. And I'm gonna keep doing that until I find UVW X form. I'm gonna move to the next one, and this I want UVW map, and then the one after that, I would like to have be symmetry, so I'll type in SY, and then the next one is going to be FFD, so I'll do FF, and now, oh, I'm sorry, that's actually edit poly, so I'll put edit poly there, and then the next one is going to be FFD. I want to put FFD 2 by 2 by 2. And the one after that will be FFD 4 by 4 by 4. And then we could set a final one in here uh, for whatever we may be using. It, uh, as you're working on a project, you may get in a situation where you have a number of things that you want to be doing consistently. And so you could swap that one out. Uh, normal is one that I have been finding very useful these days. So I'm going to put that in there. So now I say, okay, all right. And so now I have everything set up the way I want. And in order, what I'd like to do is have Max open with these default settings every single time. And so I'm just gonna come up here to file, save, and that's defaulting to my 
documents folder, 3DS Max 2023 scenes. And so I'm just going to type in Max Start and then hit Save. And so because this file is sitting in that location, every time I come up here and say Reset, it's going to ask me if I really want to. I'm going to say yes. Every time I open up a brand new uh, instance of Max, or anytime I reset, anytime I have a new scene, it's going to reference that Max start scene. Now, if you look up here, this says untitled. That's because it's a brand new scene. I'm not actually working in the Max start scene. People occasionally get confused and think that they have to open the Max start scene and work there. That is not the case. That is just a default file that we create that the software is referencing, and then we'll have the various systems that we need for it to be working with. All right, and so now when you run 3ds Max, it will behave in the same way it does for me in all of my tutorials.